Good morning everybody, it's Jennifer with creativecricketdesigns.blogspot.com and today I'm doing a two page layout that is like a safari layout. Um, I'm in a Wild About You scrapbooking blog hop today and that is at my blog which is creativecricketdesigns.blogspot.com and then you can hop through all the hops from my blog. Um, today I am using two patterns from Kadoodlebug Designs and they are called Wild Safari Adventure and Cruising the Safari. And for my layout today, I'm using the Safari Chic Stack by Die Cuts with a View. And I'm going with more of the brown and green tones because I don't know if you remember, but a while ago, I did a bunch of layouts that were using um, craft cardstock for my background. And they were um, Disney layouts. So those are from a trip that we took to Florida to Animal Kingdom. So I'm going to use these with, um, it'll be in her book with those, so I kind of wanted to keep with those neutral tones. Instead of, you know, doing a blue sky and whatnot, I did it with this. Okay, so what we're going to do is there's these things on the end that I don't like, so I actually created some borders that are going to go on the side. And then I have some grass, but I need to fit my grass behind my border. So, what I'm going to do is move this one out of the way. So I have my border, which is just a piece of cream cardstock, a piece of craft cardstock, and then this pattern from that, um, from that stack. And it's going to go right to the edge. And then my grass, I'm going to sneak up underneath here. And I'm actually going to have it hang off a little bit so that I can cut a straight line so when my um, two pages butt together the grass will be straight across. But I need to get this just right. So I'm going to get out my zip dry glue which I love this stuff. It's the best glue that I've run across and I've used a lot of the glues but this one just to me it's maneuverable once you get it on your your layout you're able to move it around right away and to me because I don't always get things perfectly straight I like to be able to move it around okay so then we have our first layer and then our second layer is going to go down here and I'm just going to put hmm, let's see we're going to put another piece of grass right here. So I'm just going to put it on the very bottom because I want to be able to put some things in between the two grass layers. Okay, and these grass layers come right with the cut. Um, this, the grass comes with the Cruising the Safari. Um, paper piecing set. Okay, we're going to go ahead and put on our border. Yeah, but um, if you have cardstock or pattern paper that you don't like a design, all you got to do is just create something to cover it. Or if you do like it, you just have to incorporate it into your layout. Okay, so we have that, and we're working with the left side of the page, so we're going to get out our safari boy and girl. Oh, I think I forgot to put my tree down. It is going to just go right behind this grass. I'm just going to stick it back there, and then... Um, when I'm trying to do a layout on video versus just doing it. That's okay. Okay, so what we're going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and put some glue on here and just go ahead and glue it down. 
And this glue, if you get it somewhere where you don't want it, all you have to do is rub it and it will come right off. It's awesome. Awesome, awesome glue. Okay, so then we have our Safari Jeep, which is, I want the tires kind of in the grass. Get it in the grass the best we can. Okay, and then they'll be standing like that. This grass is going to go right here, covering up this open spot. And then I'm actually just going to go straight onto my layout with my images. Okay. And I use some Peachy Keen stamps for their face. So that's going to go there. And then what we're going to do is get out our scissors and cut that extra grass on the side right off. Okay, and then just put in the garbage. Okay, so now we have our grass, or our snake, in the tree. And he's going to go up here. So we're going to go ahead and adhere him down. Okay, so that's what we have right now for that side. And we'll put the pictures in the rest of it together in a minute. So then we're going to move on to this side, and we're going to do the border in the grass, same as the other side. Actually, I'm going to try to line them up so that my grass is the same on both sides. Because if I don't, I know it's going to be off just a little bit. And then we have another little piece of grass, just like on the other side. We have our little monkey, <clears throat> which I actually need to slide in here and get some glue on him. Okay, like that. <clears throat> Excuse me. We'll go ahead and cut our grass off. that we're going to add at the bottom. Okay, so that's just left in the grass for me. Okay. And then the giraffe is going to go on here. And then the hippo. Okay. 
Okay, so those are at the bottom. And then what we're going to do is put them both together and then put our photos and our title on the page. So what I did is I made a title from my Silhouette Cameo. It says Animal Kingdom and I used this pattern right here for the background and then a greenish um, cardstock for my the font or the letters I'm sorry. Those are going to go there and then I have a couple of photos and I'm going to sneak in here and they're not, they're the photos of the animals and stuff that were there. And like the safari jeep that we took for the ride. So it's not like it's, you know. But anyway, I feel like I'm just rambling. And then I have the safari jeep bus thing that we rode on. And then an elephant photo. Okay. So that is everything on my layout. And I thank you very much for watching. And don't forget to hop with us. You can start at creativecricketdesigns.blogspot.com. Have a great weekend.